This video is the fourth video in the Project 218 Trust Design series. And in this one, we're going to take a look at how to prepare your bridge to be placed in the bridge supports file that you can that you will download from the Canvas assignment. So first off, I'm going to go up here to the Assemble tab, and I want to pick a joint origin. So I need to set up a joint origin that I would like to have for my bridge. Now one thing is is you can always set up a joint origin in about any orientation that you want and on whatever face. So right now I have a uh, right and directly in the center I've got this beam that I just extruded in in the in the previous video. So when I hover over it actually I get a nice cross uh, ni nice uh, kind of joint origin right there in the middle. So I'm actually going to click to set that there but if I ever wanted to change it, I could always reorient it, and I can select, you can see which direction the joint origin chip faces based upon which line that is chosen and everything there. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, un that orientation, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it, go ahead and say OK. okay. I will need to go ahead and hit the Save button, so that way it's nice and uh, saved there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this for right now. Now here I've got I've already got my bridge supports file ready so if I open up the data panel here is my bridge trust bridge demo uh, file that I'm using. If I right click and say insert into current design I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this in I'm gonna drag this over I'm gonna close my data panel now too but I wanna go ahead and bring this over so that way it's not kind of in the way as I do so. So here are my bridge supports Here's the trust tester, and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to actually go through and I'm going to click on the joint command, and I'm going to rotate underneath. I'm going to grab the circular edge of the hole underneath that's around the threaded rod here, and you're going to see a joint origin shows up there, puts it right in the middle of the hole, and I'm going to select the joint origin right here on the bridge. And what's going to happen is, is this looks like it's going to move there, and if I say OK, the bridge is actually going to move right underneath where the truss tester is, and it's going to be right there. So if we double check it, everything looks pretty good. So all the edges are going to line up onto the supports. The top of the bridge is going to be there. And the, te the tester is going to sit right on top of the bridge, just as it should be. So that looks pretty good. If, for some reason, you need to adjust the trust tester down here in the history you have a joint origin which is for the tester itself if you right click on it and say edit joint origin you can actually go through and adjust the height so if your bridge is shorter than four inches if you need it to be three and a half or anything like that you can always drag the height of the origin chip down or you can make it um, you can make it taller but it's going to be outside of the constraints so I left it at four inches and everything should be ready and set for you so that is kind of how to set up your bridge in the bridge supports file. Uh, there is one issue that if you notice, which is with the benefit of using CAD, our cross beam there at the top is going to be interfering with the threaded rod that has to go in for the truss tester. So in the next video, I'm going to show to you how to create make design edits to this file that's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button to save our bridge supports file. And in the next video, we'll open up our bridge design, make some changes, and make some edits, and then see how we can go through and update this file.